Midwest treasure, a small city in the corridor, is now getting national attention. Mount Vernon made a popular travel guides list of the top five cities that you'll want to visit now. Fox 28 News reporter Sadie Hughes shows us how an event tonight is showcasing the town's unique appeal. These balloons and bag mark just one stop on the Mount Vernon After Dark tour. It highlights what the small city has to offer, including this Queen Anne, which was once the Mount Vernon Hotel. It's straight out of the late 1800s into Casey O'Connor's heart. I get to live this kind of Norman Rockwell life that I never even imagined even existed. Casey and his family live in the former Mount Vernon landmark where shadows of old room numbers still decorate the doors. Living here, it's, it's fun. It's a cool old house. It's got a lot of history to it. Casey is a transplant from Arizona. Susan Hargis moved here from Los Angeles. We just fell in love with Mount Vernon. They also share an artistic streak. Casey plays the guitar, Susan does portraits, the perfect fit for Mount Vernon After Dark, a night showcasing historic sites, local musicians, artists, and restaurants in spots all over the city. I think it just broadens who we reach. And satisfies curiosity. You always are driving by these places, you see the lights on, and you wonder what's up there. Places like Joe Jennison's apartment off of Main Street, where the past really is alive. This building that we're in was actually an original bank. The bedroom in the back was actually the bank president's office. Like Casey and Susan, Joe moved to Mount Vernon and found home. We care about our history. We care about our businesses. We care about our artists. We care about each other. Pride for all that this kind of life does exist outside of paintings. All of the money raised tonight goes to Mount Vernon's Community Development Group to help fund events like this one. Now, if you couldn't make it out tonight, Mount Vernon has 14 festivals each year. Covering the corridor in Mount Vernon, Sadie Hughes, Fox 28 News.